This is the brand new Mongoose P26 Dirt Jumper that is only $200 at Walmart. If you are a cyclist, you need this bike. But before we get to that, let's get this bike built up. Putting together any mail order bike can be pretty scary to some, but these bikes come basically fully assembled. You really only need a set of Allen keys and a pedal wrench to assemble it. And you don't need a bike stand either. I worked on my bikes flipped upside down for 15 to 20 years before I got a bike stand. What I really like about this frame is that it's steel or chromoly, whatever you want to call it. The reason why I like that better is because steel is a more forgiving bike material. It can bend and flex, which can be more forgiving, more durable, and have great bump absorption. I'm choosing to remove all reflectors and chain guard because I don't want any of this safety equipment to fall off when I'm riding and cause me to crash. Right off the bat, I'm noticing that the chain is super tight but I'm not even worried about it because it'll loosen up after the first ride. The max tire PSI is 50, so I'll go with that and see how it rides. With the build all complete, there are some good and bad features that are jumping out at me. First off is the head tube. It looks like the shape of a tapered head tube, but then it curves back down to make it only for straight sear tubes. How weird. Something else weird that Mongoose decided to do with this bike is the 25.4 millimeter diameter seat post which is not the BMX or Dirt Jumper standard of 27.2, and it hasn't been ever. And here I am super excited to replace this with a cool blue seat post that I had too. But there's just something so cool about the simplicity of a Dirt Jumper bike. Single speed, only one cable on the whole bike, low seat. This bike looks seriously cool, especially at the price point of $200. But let's talk about why you need this bike if you do any kind of cycling. I'm talking mountain biking, road bikes, gravel, triathlon, anything. I see tons of bikers out there that really don't know how to jump or control their bike. Instead of the bike being an extension of their body, they are just a passenger along for a ride. It's really a big problem. Even mountain bike YouTubers with tons of subscribers admit they can't jump. They might get airborne, but it's not actually Good. jumping. Look, I don't want to ridicule these guys or you if you can't jump. I come with a solution and that's this bike or one like it. With a dirt jumper bike, you can easily learn jumping, manualing, and cornering. That's why you need this bike. Here, let me show you. This bike is so versatile. Pump track, BMX track, jump park, or riding around the neighborhood with your family. It's really that do-it-all fun bike that us cyclists need in our life. After riding it, there are definitely some major areas for improvement. Normally, I would have liked to flick the bike around more in the air, but it is just so dang heavy at 33.2 pounds. Other dirt jumper bikes on the market weigh about 25 pounds, so I will be definitely looking to make some wise budget upgrades. I think the forks need to be replaced right away. I had a hard time manualing the bike because these steel coil sprung forks must weigh six to seven pounds. Also, it looks like the fork seals are kind of loose and a pebble got lodged in one of the dust wipers and the stanchion is already scratched. The stock mechanical brake didn't stop very well either. So maybe I'll look into going hydraulic. I'm really curious of what the geometry is on this bike and how it compares to other dirt jumpers on the market. I will compare the geometry of two popular dirt jumpers, the Canyon 360 and the Octane One Melt. The P26's reach is about 440 millimeters, which is longer than the other two bikes, but it still fits me well and I'm five foot nine. The big one for me is the chainstay length that is 17 inches and is very long. 
two inches longer than the other bikes. That could also be the cause of me having problems with manualing. This stack is 558 millimeters, which is pretty close to the other bikes. The bars have 45 millimeters rise and they are 28 inches wide which is the standard bar width for BMX bikes. The C-tube angle is 73.6 degrees and the head tube angle is 67.5 degrees. It's the most slack compared to the other bikes, but that isn't actually a good thing with dirt jump bikes. So this bike is definitely longer and more slack than the other modern dirt jumpers, which will make it more stable, but harder to flick around and do some super sweet kickouts or flatties. Overall, I'm really happy I purchased this bike and it will be replacing my BMX bike in my garage. It's comfortable and really fun to ride, Plus, I'm going to make this a beater because of the steel frame. At $200, obviously this bike has parts that are meant to be replaced, but for the low price tag, you can begin your journey to proper jumping and bike control. In fact, I think I'm gonna throw this fork on right now.